Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you my everyday going to work type makeup look. Usually I can achieve this look within under 10 minutes. Um, on days when I'm really in a rush, then I might skip some steps and get everything done in five to seven minutes. <laughs> it's really great for, I think if you're just somebody who's looking for a really natural look, not something too crazy or over the top. So if you wanna know how to get this look, then keep on watching. I'm gonna start off by priming my face using the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother. So I'm just gonna apply this usually right around the nose area. And then whenever I go to work, I really like my skin to be really hydrated. So I like to go in mixed with my foundation and oil. And these days I've been using the Tarte Maracuja oil. Usually I mix one part oil and one part BB cream and a little bit of the Revlon. Color stay whipped. So I focus this on the T-zone area and around the mouth. And then I like to use a BB cream on the rest of the face. Of course, you have to mix the colors in well so that it's not like one color, two color. I kind of like to make a little face concoction. So first I'm gonna take a drop of the Tarte Maracuja oil. If you want, you can apply the oil on first. And I just like to focus it on the high point. The great thing about using a BB cream uh, mixed in is because it has SPF. This guy has an SPF of 40. Nice. Whereas this foundation, I don't think it has SPF. And then I'm gonna conceal my under eyes with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And when I'm just like slapping my makeup on in the morning for work, I just go in usually with this concealer because it's easy, it's lightweight. It blends easily. Next, what I like to do is to fill in my brows after my base makeup. So I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia Brow Wiz and I use it in the shade Caramel. In the morning, I don't usually spend as much time on my brows. Next, I'm gonna go in with an eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm just gonna use a teeny bit of this right up and down here. So for work, I actually don't go in with a crease color because on my eyes, if I go in with a crease color and a transition color up here, it tends to look very dramatic. It becomes more of a smoky eye look and that's not what I'm going for for work. I don't want a smoky eye. So I skip that part. These days, I've been reaching for the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. So I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go into this peachy, color called Sherbert and this pinky color called Blossom. And I like to mix the two to kind of create this nice corally color. And I like to bring this color just above that fold. This teeny teeny fold that I have here. So yeah, just above it because if I just do this part down here, if I open my eyes wide, you can't see the color anymore. So I like to just bring it up a little so that the color kind of peeps out even when I open my eyes and look straight on. You can just bring this out to the side more instead of just curving it down so that it lifts your eye and it makes it look less droopy. And then I'm gonna go in with a blending brush. I'm gonna blend this color. And then I'm gonna dab it into this matte brown color called Hot Chocolate. And I only focus this dark brown on the outer corner right here. Then what I like to do is to go in with a brown liquid eyeliner. I really like that liquid eyeliner can give me a really precise line and I like to use brown on an everyday basis because it's a lot more natural and soft on the eyes than a black. So eyeliners on, I like to keep my eyeliner really natural. I don't add a flick on it for work or anything because I don't need to rock a cat eye to work. And then I also popped on a pair of falsies. I don't wear falsies to work. I usually just put on my mascara. This one, this is a Maybelline Define a Lash waterproof because it really adds length and holds curl for me. Um, but for the sake of this video, I popped on a pair of falsies. These are the M's One natural ones. Just wanna keep it natural for this look. So I'm skipping out on my house of lashes. I'm just gonna take my Urban Decay 24 seven eye pencil in black velvet. I'm gonna line my lower waterline. And for my lower lashes, they're super picky. Picky. I hate how picky they are. They don't like this Maybelline one. They like the Urban Decay Perversion, so I like to go in and just wiggle it and start applying it to the other eye while I wait for that to dry. And then come back here and wiggle it some more. Next, I'm going to do a light contour. Sometimes I just skip out on this, but on days when I have an extra minute, 
I'll go in with the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder. Lightly contour this side underneath the cheekbones. It adds some dimension to the face. And then I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. Depending on the day, sometimes if I'm feeling extra glowy, I'm gonna go in with the high beam and then top it off with what's up. Both by benefit. Do that. Dab. A little goes a long way, as you guys can see. It's just like one little dot of it. It's like. And also down the bridge of my nose. If I top it off, I just like to swipe this on and then spread out with my finger. Then I'm gonna highlight my inner corners with this really shimmery champagne color called Treasure. And just a little bit, because this is really shimmery. And then for my brow bone, I like to dip it into this buttery color. It's a matte color. So whatever is remaining in the brush from this really shimmery color, just dab it in. This matte one is perfect for the brow bone because I don't want this to be super shimmery up here. Just a bit of highlight. Mm, look at that highlight! It's popping. Then I'm going to go in with this Smashbox blush called Peony. Then for the lips, I like to go in with this Bite Beauty lip pencil called Sable. And I'm also going to top it off with the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. This is more of a peachy color, so mixed with this pink, it's really pretty. So this is my everyday look for work. I really like the peachy pink color on the eyes and the lips. It's perfect for the spring and summertime, and I really feel that this look brings out your features without being too dramatic. It's really natural and feminine at the same time. So I hope you guys like this. And if you do try this look out, make sure to tag me. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook, all at VS Day Look. And I always love chatting with you guys. I'm really happy whenever you guys send me snaps. You guys will be like, hey, look at my makeup today. I'll be like, yay, it looks so good. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm getting too hyped by here. I should go. So I'll catch you very soon in my next one. Bye!